Hello and welcome back to Stellaris. It must be frightening for many of you. You know, be, be calm. This is a second episode in a row. Um, I just want to have a look at who these guys are, just for a second. Oh, these are the Decron Stewards. Are they, uh... Are they... They're Fallen, right? Uh, they're not a Fallen Empire. They are, in fact, 100% open for business. Oh. Okay, then. They would accept Protectorate if they liked us. Hmm. Uh... Alright, then. Happy I noticed them. Probably we can remove one of our many ones on the United Federation of Planets. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. Maybe, maybe two? Why do we have something on them? Oh, they wrote... We can counterattack them? Uh... Oh, because they attacked a galactic community men, uh, member. Nah, we're not going to do that. That's okay. Uh, let's do another improve relations with that one. Cool. Right. So we'll see if we can get them on our side. Uh, that's Shantari Mercantile Union. They're much bigger. Right. Cool. I think I'm going to unpause. Let the game continue at maximum speed. And then just basically uh, chill. Yeah. That's our plan. We've got another 12 Survey years complete. until... The event, maybe. Assuming we haven't already started or finished the event. Which is entirely possible. I actually just do not know. So, we'll see. Uh, we're also going to kind of wait until a bunch of these buildings are done before we go and even have a look at the buildings further down. Because we've got, like, auto... Like, it, our building stuff is solved by the fact that people will just move if there's an issue now. So, I mean... We can just chill, basically. <laughs> It's kind of an odd situation. We're, we don't have any pressing concerns. Nothing we need to work on. I mean, the only thing we really need is administrative capacity because, well, that's causing us to spend a lot on our Unity stuff, but we only really need the one that makes ships not cost a ridiculous amount, and then we're good, so. Oh, I suppose we need influence as well. Although we're about to max out on influence, we should just grab, like, claims on a whole bunch of things. Yeah, what's our, our max is a thousand. We might... Yeah, we should probably just claim things. Uh, that wasn't... Whoa, where did I even go? Okay. There we are. Let's let the game run. Let's try and do claims while the game's running. Oh, dear. It doesn't like this. I already have claims on all of that. Good. How about over here? Do I have claims on any of this? Nope. Okay. Well... Oh, do they dislike me because I have claims on them? Let me just double check. Scroll in over here. There we go. They're extremely hostile because... Uh, yeah, we have claims. Mm. So I probably don't want to claim that colony. if I want to keep, you know, good relations. I don't know what we can spend our influence on then. There's sure, surely something we can spend influence on. Um, somewhere. Yeah, probably something. I mean, is there not some kind of thing in here we can spend influence on? Not here. Policies? Yeah, we can spend influence on policies. Although, then, if we have more than one, it then... Yeah, it then costs us a lot more. Hmm. And that puts a strain on our empire sprawl, right? Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's slightly problematic. If we didn't care, we could just be like, I'm gonna have some of this. Or like, let's have plentitude and pop speed goes up and all that sort of stuff. That sounds like the worst. I just looked at this one. That looks god awful for us, actually. What's the other one? Capacity subsidies. Eh, don't need it. Anything else? Map the stars? Definitely no. Land of opportunity? No. What's greater than ourselves? That's making people like us, right? Oh no, that's the one that's making them go out all over. Mining subsidies. We could maybe get rid of that. So that's 20% output. How much does that give us? I mean, we can always get rid of it and then retake it again immediately. I mean, it's about to be the end of the month. I'm just going to turn it off. Technology discovered. I mean, for one, that makes our empire sprawl look a lot more manageable if we do that. Which is good. I can always turn it off do whatever we need to do for our empire sprawl and turn it back on again. Oh, also we Colony just discovered three tanks. Technology yeah, we still discovered. have the minerals. That's good. Yeah, we just discovered all tech immediately because we were so, like, we generated so much tech. Yeah, because I think it works on a how much you've generated basis. 
Uh, so then the cost goes down. It's like, hey, you immediately got it. Okay, let's go for... I don't know. Really doesn't matter. Let's go like energy credits. Food from jobs. And... Does not matter. That's fine. Oh, how long is it going to take? Let's have a look. See, like, it's only seven months for one of them. Yeah, that's well quick now. Okay, that's cool. And we don't need the minerals. I mean, we're, we're kind of happy to just sit and uh, stay neutral, basically. There's not a lot that we need to do. It's all running itself. Just seeing. Oh, there is stuff moving on the map. I think those are that was our colony ship going off and moving. Okay. Uh, I think at the end of this year, I might check if any buildings need built. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Nothing to worry about. Just chilling. Oh, what we could also do right now, while we're in a moment of peace, is just go and spam all of these Unity ones that we can get. Yeah, we can have all of these. So, Scientific Revolution, I suppose we could have. Why not? Uh, Desperate Measures we don't need. Fortress pro Proclamation we don't need. We could increase planetary build speed, but we're not even building that much. I think I got the only one we need. Okay. We could also do any of these, any number of these things to make us stronger if we need to. But again, there's no reason to. Like, it doesn't do anything for us because nothing's challenged us. So, I don't know. We're kind of just in a, uh, we're in a peaceful holding pattern. This is a good opportunity to let time pass. Basically. I don't know. Just continue letting it chill. I don't know. It's, it's kind of odd. It's like, what do they want you to do at this point in the game? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I guess maybe they want you to just continue painting the map. But we're kind of done on our painting. I mean, we could go over here. But this one we're not allowed to attack. I suppose we could attack these places. I don't think you're allowed to attack Space and Me by any, either by our laws. So, we're not getting an awful lot by going over there. That maybe we could jump to the wormhole Establishing colony. and then see where it goes, but it probably leads to like one of these places. Well, I mean, there, that's what it expects us to deal with. So, hey, hey pause again. Evading pause. hostiles. Right, where are we? Down here? Ugh. Right, we got one of you ready to uh, head off. Probably quicker to do this. Uh, return to base? Yeah. I don't know where you are, but return to base. Yeah, this one. I select you. Please arrive there. Yeah, so they can jump and then we'll... Uh, yeah, so they're, they're going to go here and then we'll just jump them. That's alright. Wait for them to arrive. There's a jump hotkey. Okay. I should use that. So waiting for them to arrive. In fact, I'll just click here so I can see how many days it is. 15 days. Okay. Pirate Station fleet's not going to destroy us before then. Uh, jump. That work? It did. Okay, now we're going 10 days. And... Just waiting for us to be over here. No, oh, 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 no, I cancelled the jump. I'm an idiot. I thought they just arrived. I heard the beep 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 and thought that was them arriving. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. Right, are you jumping yet? No. Okay, back to jump. See, I heard this bib a bip and it tricked me. I was like, oh, that means must mean we're here. Nope. Oh, we're still understanding infinity as well. Um, right, bib a bip. What was bib a bip for? Alloys. Okay. Alloys, we will spam sell. There we go. That'll do. Uh, we're about to max out on that as well, so why not buy some minerals? Just because we're, we're low on minerals. We're not out of minerals, we're low on minerals. Right, now hands off the keyboard and mouse. Just be like, no, nope, not pressing anything. Let it go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We have arrived. Let's go. 
Hopefully we get there before this is destroyed. If we don't, it's entirely my bad. What the... Oh, we didn't get there before it was destroyed, so they started creating Colony things. founded. There's a gang slashing thing happening. Okay. Get over here. Please destroy them. In like a single hit would be ideal. Yep. It's a bit slow, but that's fine. Oh, I love them jumping and then just like half their health bar is gone, another half's gone. Uh, why are you still attacking my mining station, you piece of garbage? Alright, get rid of this. Them still attacking my mining Engaging station might be the most station. annoying thing that could possibly happen there. Right. It's the way that they were like, nah, we'll keep attacking. Like, you know, why, why, why would we stop attacking the mining station? Just because, you know, there's no logical reason for us to do it. God, I'm sending like a Vulcan. Right, um, oh, I suppose I should activate one of these because, I mean, I've got the influence. Is there any of these that are good to activate? Yes, more mineral, or more, sorry, more alloys. That, that is what we need. I understand, yes. Uh, all of these are just awful, though. <laughs> I mean, I think this is actually our best one to activate, as much as I hate activating it because we have no alloy issues, but I think that if we assume that Surveyor is literally only getting us, like, like, assuming Surveyor is only getting us money increases effectively across the board, we might as well just increase our like, alloy production, because that's better. Um, Space Storm Forthlin arrives. Massive subspace disturbances have erupted in systems across the galaxy. Early reports indicate that nearly 50% of the systems in the galaxy have been affected by this unprecedented phenomenon, which appears to have been a byproduct of thousands of years of heavy hyperspace travel by civilizations both past and present. Scientists are confident that this galactic space storm will dissipate by itself within a period of 5 to 10 years. Until that happens, the storm will play havoc with subspace engines, shield generators, and sensor systems in those star systems affected by it. The galactic community have officially named this storm Fourth Lin and have issued a general travel advisory. Well, I mean, on the positive side, we did just Technology deal with some pirates, discovered. which is it's good we're not dealing with pirates and having this issue, but the issue's kind of annoying. But again, like, it's not, it's only annoying if we have to deal with pirates. <laughs> that's, that's the only situation in which it is annoying. Science Nexus Research Wings. The first module of the four research wings now in place. The researchers and staff are already moving into living quarters. The next and final step of the construction will extend the wings, adding four sections of laboratories equipped to support our most dangerous research. Extensive security measures are being taken to ensure the staff's safety. Uh, I mean, sure. I Oh yeah, we never created the science nexus. It was just here when we got here. And we just went, yeah, we'll build it. Why not? We're builders. We're good at that sort of thing. One year down, by the way. In our three-year plan. We're, we're getting there. We're almost ten years from the end. But it's kind of like, it's it's very odd. I, I think it wouldn't be odd if the game ran well. Establishing but, colony. Know, it doesn't. It's kind of interesting, because I'm now playing Crusader Kings 3, which is the most recent Paradox game. And it runs like butter. Like, it, it just runs. You put it at the max speed, and it's off. Like, it, it will just go. So I'm very interested to see whether if you get late game in that, it does similar to Stellaris, or whether they've kind of fixed the issue for their newer game. Now, that's not necessarily going to help. I mean, I think they are on the same engine, but um, obviously if you design your game from the, you know, ground up to be, there's going to be no slowness issues, then it becomes a lot easier to avoid slowness issues. It also has a lot less things to do with population and all that sort of stuff, which is apparently the causes of most of it, like pathfinding and population are the two uh, issues it has. So, like Stellaris has, so. I don't know. They're not really as present in the other games, just because of how things are, like there's not dynamic pathing, really. Because, I mean, if you look at this, there's a ton of, like, this is a completely different map every single time you play the game. And it's a map where uh, the pathing can change depending on like, you know, the borders blocking it. While that's not really a thing in Crusader Kings, there are no borders which block you. 
the map is exactly the same every single time you play it. You know, the pathing is very, like from from a from a that kind of level is very straightforward compared to this. Like, hmm, yes, but there's also you could jump to the other side of the galaxy using this thing. Ah, yes, that that would change the pathing or. You know, well, actually, your military access isn't there, so you can't go around that way, so you're gonna have to jump. And this space storm thing, where it's like, well, actually, uh, like these bits are now 50% slower, so therefore it's gonna take longer to get around. Actually, notice the space storm doesn't really affect us very much. Like, it's just a very small part of our, like, on the outside of our, um, of our, I was gonna say, yeah, empire, Colony realm, realm's the wrong word, but empire is okay. Hey, another colony is established. We should probably have a look at these eventually. Ooh, yeah, we're running into issues. I love it. Right, what do you need? Uh, you've run out of housing. Well, we can upgrade our housing. And then probably get you a another one of these. Just hopefully they both went through. Let's see. I'm happy to wait. Did I check? Wait, what's, what's a rural world? Generator build speed. Oh, worker pop resource output. Yeah, that, that is quite good, actually. I think. Yeah. Anyway. Wolfie do. Wolfie do. You need housing. Okay. I'm going to take one of these generator districts and replace it with a city district. I'll do that. Technology discovered. Foreign Empire claims our stuff. Well, you know, whatever. I I'm not really that bothered. Ask me if I'm bothered. Right, Europa. Uh, so you need a job, a singular job. Uh, sure. Are we looking in terms of crystals? We're okay. We're we're plus eight. We could probably do with some more. Titan. Once again, you need a job. Uh, let's upgrade this one. Yeah. I mean, if I have it, I might as well upgrade it. I shouldn't really have it on that planet, but, you know. Uh, so we are missing, right now, housing. So I'm going to replace one of these with luxury residences. That should help us quite a lot. I believe that these places are getting a lot of pop in them very quickly because they have a lot of jobs available. And everyone's migrating to the places that have jobs. It's also probably increasing our money quite quickly on some of these with the ones that are they're just filled with trade. Yeah, I'd imagine so anyway. Let me just check. Are you building? Not at all. Oh? Yes, you are. Okay. Wow, it was still calculating. That's weird. This one? Uh, you actually just need a job, so let's upgrade. I don't know. Let's upgrade that. I kind of think that these are better for us. Well, are they? Uh, I don't know. I'm like I'm 50/50. I might just upgrade that one. Why not? Just go with it. Wait a second. Yeah, it's trade value plus 20%. Why don't I have that on this world? Why do I have rural? I guess I have. Wait, no. Yeah, why? Why do I have rural world on here? Why did I auto set that? I set it back to general. It becomes an urban world. It's an urban world. No, still wrong. This should be a commercial world. Oh, maybe commercial world doesn't exist because it's not a ring world. Uh, yes, that is correct. Okay. And these, what else did he do? Yeah, nothing. So, yeah, okay. Now I understand why I made it a rural world. That makes sense. Okay, cool. See, just understanding where I went wrong in the past. We're now running out of food, but I suspect that's because we got some new pop rather than anything else. Samet Man. Uh, ooh, so we're missing a specialist one and a worker one. Hmm. Well, obviously upgrading one thing is going to fix both issues. I could also replace this, which would fix both issues. I'm going to replace that with, uh, you appear to be a research world, so. I'm just going to wait, you know? Eventually, I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure it will appear. 
There's our laps coming in. We good? Maybe. I'll wait. There we go. Right. Next one. Oop, get rid of that. Tricked. Tricked. Um I think that we want to upgrade that. That'll give us So that's so let's see, that's five jobs, ten jobs, fifteen jobs, twenty jobs. So we get twenty jobs, we can get another eight housing. Yeah, that, that pretty much works out. Oh, plus this one is going to change, probably. Yeah, okay, so that gives us just enough housing, I think. Yeah, so let's make that a luxury residence here. Right. Keep scrolling down. Technology discovered. Ooh. Why do I always sound excited when I know what it is? Alright, another one of those. We are probably running out of crystals now as well. I'd imagine. Hey, food from jobs. Is a good one. Uh, administrative capacity doesn't matter too much now that we're so much under. It's still probably good to push ourselves, uh, like, to not have the mineral one. I think that's good for us long term. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to upgrade one of these purely because it doesn't cost us, uh, yeah, because it, yeah, because it doesn't cost us crystals. I think that's slightly better. Because we have a lot of exotic gases. Okay. Hey, we're almost at the end of year two. This one? I say that, we're about halfway through. Just optimistic thinking. Why do we have a singular one of these? It's kind of weird. We have so much housing as well. I mean, I should switch some of these over. Yeah, let's replace some of these with some mining districts. I don't know how many mining districts we need, but I should definitely switch them over. Let's think. Uh, we can probably get rid of 10. No, it's 80. Uh, five. One, two, three. We can, four, five. We can actually probably get rid of 10, actually thinking about it, because these all come with two housing as well. It can only support three districts of that type. Well. All right, we'll get, I guess we'll have three of these as well. Although we're only getting two mining districts. That's okay. That'll at least help us with our food problems and then a little upgrade. Okay, that's gonna use some moats. That's okay. We have moats, don't we? Yeah, we have a reasonable supply of moats. Once it's finished, there we go. Cool. Reld. Reld. Hmm. I mean, it seems like an easy one. We just click upgrade. Cool. Which one's next? All the rest, I think. Hmm. Ah, so it's this world. Well, immediately um, I've got the same thing with our city districts. We can replace these with mining easily, which will help us significantly. And replace as many as we can of agriculture. That, that'll help out. Uh, and then one of those. Which is actually what's needed to fix the issue. Now we just wait for that gr uh, yellow, like, arrow to turn into nothing. There we go. Cool. People are forming commercial packs. Oh yeah, how are we doing in our little, uh, what's this one? Senate's now in session for what? Remove cancelled announcement power. Yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm going to remove powers for myself, you know. Why's that got, like, a thing above it? We are opposing it. Okay. I don't know why it has a thing above it, but yeah, well, I'm happy to oppose that. What's this? Energy credits. Okay. Uh, purchase. 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 Establishing colony. Have some of that. Now let's have some more of this. That'll work. Okay, get rid of this one. Zoom out. Zoom over. And let's just start getting some more stuff. This habitat. Missing one job. I mean, I'll upgrade. Sounds good to me. Okay, next one. This one. Missing one housing. One job. 
Well, housing, I think, means that we replace the generator district with a city district. Job, I think, means that we replace this energy nexus with uh, administrative. It doesn't give, isn't going to give us a job immediately, actually. I'm still going to replace it because I think it's right. Because uh, I think we need that. And I'm going to do a little upgrade. Cool. Hopefully that went through. It did. Wonderful. What's this thing? There's a new thing on here. Oh, it's probably what everyone got rejected previously. The Tayanki Conservation Act. Sure, I support that. Yeah, I support it. Oh, it's the first thing on the, me on the menu. Okay. I think I didn't support it last time because uh, we wanted to kill a Tayanki, but now we're kind of okay with it. Right, if it hasn't gone through, we could kill this thing, but I'm not really going to do that. Doesn't seem necessary. Alien megastructure built. Oh, wait, you built a gateway? Oh, I appreciate it quite a lot. Look at that. That is a very useful gateway because that's somewhere we'd have to go a lot. That is, you know, great. Hey, it's not a gateway, it's a great way. I'll see myself out. Right, uh, let's have one of those. I don't know if we need the uh, thing pushing our minerals up, but that's okay. Ooh, that actually went up quite a lot. Oh, I guess that was when we got rid of all of those. Um, yeah, this must be us getting rid of the city districts and replacing them with mining districts. Yeah, because yeah, their jobs would immediately switch over. That That should actually be what that is. Alright, Dongar Prime. Upgrade this one. Also, you... Oh, you do have one. That's fine. I was going to say, this is a, a prime candidate for one of these, but they already have it. Uh, The habitat we're already building in. Building in. Anything we're building in can be pretty much ignored until it's finished, just so that we uh, aren't breaking any plans from the past. I could upgrade this, but there's no reason to. In fact, I'm going to get rid of it. Yeah. I, I don't think that we're going to have problems with money. I think money is the by far the least of our issues with our new commercial zone worlds, as in the fact that they're getting populated now. Upgrade here. What edict expired? Ambition, health, and minds. Uh, or hearts and minds. Yeah, we'll take that. It's only 27. It's uh, now just affordable. This one? Yeah, do a little upgrade. Move to the next world. Zildoria. Uh, do a little upgrade. Might just take a little upgrade on one of those. Go to the next world. You're building. Okay, continue scrolling. Some of these ones will be ones that we... Um, like, that are new worlds that we're just... Uh, set off, like, tons and tons of building on. Here, um, I don't know, one of those seems good. We're actually underneath our uh, administrative capacity right now, which is cool. Or, uh, yeah, Empire Sprawl. Yeah, so our administrative capacity is above our Empire Sprawl, is what I should say. Uh, luxury Residences Upgrade. Fairly certain it's the right move here. Yeah. Okay, luxury residences. As it slows down. Upgrade. Move on. Hopefully it starts building. Ah. This one has crime. Wait, no, you have crime. The governor has crime. Ah, recruiting you, governor. It's gonna be... This guy, probably. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, I choose the weird thing. Let's select it as governor. Okay. So that should now help a little bit. We'll get uh, two of those. And two of either of those. It doesn't really matter. Just something to provide some work. Last one. Say the same one here. I only heard one. I heard two there, now we wait. Because I'm not entirely sure what went through. Okay, there we go. Two habitation and a trade. Wait, did the first trade go in for... Wait, no, habitation, habitation. 
No, get rid of that one. We have an extra habitation. I guess there were two clicks the first time. It just didn't give me the uh, audio for both. Okay, cool. This one? Okay, so we have... Yeah, we just need a job, basically. Problem solved. Right. Next one. Bal Dirk 2 Habitat. Uh, so you're, you're down housing right now. So luxury residences seems like the correct move. You need two luxury residences. Yeah. This is two luxury residences and an upgrade. Just because we're not going to get to the next one without doing that. Like the next marker. Dumbatic Prime. Um, need one. So let's just upgrade one. Are we looking in terms of our things now? Crystals, we're going lower. Baroi. I think I'm happy here. I think I'm going to say, like, discourage planetary growth. Actually, no. We're just... Yeah, we're going to just be happy for them to migrate somewhere else. Yeah. We don't care, essentially, on that one. If we get another two, maybe we care, but, like, I don't really care. This one? Just to upgrade and move. This one... A little upgrade. Yeah, that'll be fine. We will hit the next one, then we can do luxury residences. This one? Oh, what's destroyed? Luxury residences. Well, I can repair that. Was this where the pirates were? I don't think this is where the pirates were. Maybe we can't... We must have conquered this one, I guess. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have that many of those in there. Hmm. Although it does have, like, my setup. I don't know. Anyway, like... I don't think the AI built quite as many resource silos as I do. Um, okay. Keeping it going. We have Ophiel Prime. It's our next one. That's an upgrade. But at the same time, I think it's an upgrade while maybe replacing all of those with food districts. There we go. Oh, what, what ran out? Oh, we already knew that one. That's the one we already solved. Cool. I think that will help out a lot with um, the fact that we have far too much housing. I mean, we might put some of the housing back in, but we have a food problem right now. And, ooh, we actually are getting into having a consumer goods problem. We should do some more building of consumer goods. But yeah, we have a food problem now, which we can solve easily. So there's no reason not to solve it. Yeah, switch that one over. And also upgrade here. How are we looking on moats? We should be fine, but... Yeah, we're actually going up on moats. Okay. We've gone down quite a lot in terms of crystals. What I'd like is if it would go into the negative on crystals, because we have a huge backlog of crystals. Like, yeah, we have 34,000 crystal backlogs, so... I'd like it if it would go into the negative. This is fine to upgrade. Yeah. Trunk site. Star Groove. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, another upgrade. This one. I should upgrade anyway because it gives us jobs and then luxury residences repair. Why can I not repair? Don't know. I guess I'll demolish. Oh, because I don't have enough pop to justify it anymore. Yeah, because I don't have a pop of 45, I can't repair it. Yeah, did somebody actually attack, like, a load of my things that I forgot about somewhere? A lot of these got destroyed. Or maybe because of our crime, I suppose. I don't know whether crime destroys things. It might. That's the kind of thing that you could see a crime mechanic doing. Grasslands? Uh... So I'm going to buck the trend on grass. Oh, actually, no, I can get rid of one of these. I was going to say buck the trend and move uh, an agriculture over, but I think we can do this and be happy. Right. Tindrakia. Um, probably doesn't need one of those because we have absolutely no, like, 
Yeah, yeah, this one should be a mining thing, because we have mining. We, we have pretty much no uh, energy generation on this planet. Let's do another alloy upgrade as well. Yeah. Next one. Little upgrade. Uh, move on. Next one. Uh, a little upgrade, and then we'll move on. Durban, a little upgrade, then we'll move on. Still going through it, fairly alright. This one... Yeah, another little upgrade, moving on. I know that I've gone way over my crystal count here, but that should be fine. Probably going to go into the negatives on crystals, but again, not overly worried about it. Um, yeah, I guess I'll upgrade that one. It's okay. Right, keep scrolling down. Get this all to the top. There are a lot of things that have issues down here, but we did leave it for like two years, so. That explains why we have issues. But I wanted to come here with issues because I want to know, you, you know, I want to be able to see what's wrong and then fix it. Uh, just because this one has a lot of alloys, even though we have zero need for alloy production. It's actually in here, isn't it? No, it isn't. It wasn't the first one. Yeah, I'm going to change that over to uh, alloy foundry because we don't need... Yeah, we don't need the energy generation on two... Uh, yeah, on two energy ones. Those were probably created when I was um, really low on energy credits. And I was trying to squeeze every little energy credit we could out of the game. Yeah, that would make some sense. Yeah, we'll upgrade this one. I should switch these over to um, farming. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, we might actually be able to switch them all over. Let's think. So that's nine. Nine times by uh, eight is... 72. But then we're also going to get nine of those. We get another 18 on top of that, which means that it actually goes down to 56 swing. Yeah, this is fine. We can Full agriculture is fine. Because we're going to end up with 56 swing in our housing, which should be, like, that should be 100% manageable. Yeah. Okay. Here? Um, I probably don't need that anymore. <laughs> That's a bit... Odd. I'll leave it there for just now. Right, let's just go with that. Um, and then I'm going to switch all of these over as well to food production. Because we don't need that many uh, city districts. I'll sit and wait for it to work itself out. Actually, that was quick. Cool. Unlike the uh, game speed, that was quick. Yeah. The core. See, I think in that my issues with having so much housing here can be fixed quite easily by just going... Now, nah, actually, these are minerals. I think we're fine to switch these all over to minerals and agriculture. Let's just click it a lot of times, see what happens. Yeah, I think we can switch these all over and it'll still be fine. And that might solve our issues. Obviously, it doesn't give us the highest pot planet, but is that really our objective? Did it really only register... I was going to say, did it really only register one click? Yeah, no. Okay. This one? I keep hearing a note in this um, game that sounds an awful lot like the um, ringtone when somebody calls me at work. My mu like, the, the, back, the, like, the hairs on the back of my neck just kind of prick up and I go like, What? What's going on here? It, it's very off-putting. That's alright. If I knew what track it was in, I might actually go edit it out. But I have no idea. I just hear it every now and then. It's the team's noise, if anybody knows that one. Or like the first tone in it, and I keep hearing it in the back of my mind, I go. It's, it's haunting my dreams. Right. Hey, we're now... Hey, in April. Founded. We're getting there. We founded Technology another colony. Discovered. Look at this. There's so many factory stations on this one. Okay, uh, we'll have that one. Energy credits, and we'll also have, while we're here, some minerals. Good. Yeah, we're starting to fix these issues, which is nice. 
Uh, none of them are having issues. Factory station. Uh, double build. This one actually has the option for uh, research stations as well. Yeah, why not have research jobs here? We got any of the other ones? Are these new? They are. Okay, so these are all new. I should check these as well, just to double check that they're, uh, like, whether they're new or not. Because with our new uh, migration thing, they're not actually going to fill up. Yeah. wonder what's different about these habitats. It's probably something when you build them, but I don't think we've actually ever built a habitat on purpose. Anyway. We could if we wanted. We could just build them all in the Earth system and then just have one massive amount of habitats. All with their uh, only commercial zones feeding directly into Earth. Ooh. Could be good. I don't know whether there's a maximum habitats per system, actually. I suppose the maximum is how many alloys you're willing to throw at the problem. And then two of these. And this one as well. Okay, we'll do this one as well. And that one. We're almost to May. Okay. Uh, overseer. Uh, one of those. Okay. Oh, no, back up to Jurgurhill. We almost missed it. Yeah, we'll do a single upgrade and then see how we feel. Single upgrade. There we go. This one. Hmm. I don't know about this one. I guess we'll just upgrade and then move on. You know, what, what a unique uh, option. I don't, I don't want, I'm trying to figure out what I need to do here. This is weird. Some, someone's done something bad here. I guess upgrade this one as well. We're definitely going to be uh, losing crystals soon. Hey, we actually gained, gained one since last time. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to replace one of these alloy forges with a with yeah, like commercial zone. Oh, sorry, civilian industries. That way we can upgrade it, and the jobs will still pass over, which is fine. Yeah, that, that's a good way to start it. Right, scrolling down. Wait, was that the... Yeah, that was probably the most recent one. Bannock uh, one here. Uh, single upgrade. I'll do. Marfic Prime. Uh, that's another Civilian Industries. Could switch their things over. I'm not going to do that right this second, but I could. Uh, Porsano. Why can we not upgrade? Oh, we don't have any uh, minerals. Oh, that's a good way to get me to stop. We require additional minerals. Right. Uh, let's just chill. I know that's not the quote. The one I did there. But it was close enough. So that's fine. Oh, the game is running quicker again. It's almost like being in the menus makes it run slower. Hey, I wonder if I close all of these whether it runs quicker. Because it no longer has to display these facts to us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, maybe having it open makes it go, well, I need to have all of this information like displayed to the player. While otherwise, if you um, if you have it closed when you click colony. on something, then the information will calculate at that moment. I don't know. It's an interesting thought. I think it probably makes zero difference whatsoever whether you have the outliner open or not, but hey. Wait, you can you can turn the outliner off in this game, can't you? Yeah, like who would turn the outliner off? It's the only way I play the game. Playing without the outliner just seems so odd. I guess if you're playing on console you might play without the outliner. Yeah, the console interface I can't imagine is fantastic. Yeah, it's got some stuff. I'm going to close all of these again now that I opened it. I have seen a little bit of the console stuff. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same game. Right. Five months away. We're pushing to it. Just a little bit further. We're almost there. 
How far away are we from the Infinity Machine? The most exciting part of our playthrough right now. Uh, we are going to get that next episode. In about halfway through the next episode. Ooh. That sounds like fun. We can discover whether it's uh, the end of our civilization. It's always a cool thing to figure out. Technology Probably discovered. isn't, as it's been there since the start of the game, but you know. It could be. It, you know, you never know. I suspect that you were meant to find it a lot earlier than now, but hey. Are we full on? Oh, influence. What can I even do with influence? I can't sell it. Um, Yeah, I didn't really figure this out, what to do with her influence. I should do something with it. I don't really want to claim anyone's land. Can I use influence in like one of these somehow? Like, is it something that I've ignored because I was like, this is stupid, why would I ever use influence on it? Probably. I need to stay at a, a thousand influence. Uh, Try to think if there's anything else I can do. I guess I, you can build mega structures with influence, maybe? Let me have a look. Uh, oh, Crime Fighter. I thought that was going to say, like, Crime Lord. Oh, yeah, we can build these. Let's build another um, mega shipyard. Sure. No, that's the wrong one. <laughs> uh, another gateway. Yes, I wish to build a gateway here next to the place because we always need to deal with things over here. Uh, do I have a gateway down here? Doesn't look like it. No. Let's get a gateway down here as well. Oh, I actually have two ships here. Yeah, let's go gateway in here. And then you... I don't know. What, what does this do? Increases happiness? You know what? Somebody can build it. You don't necessarily have to build it. Do we have a ship over here for building? We should do. We built a lot early game. I might have destroyed them all though. <laughs> this is a fit of, I don't want to pay for that. Yeah, alright. Um, you. Head to the sun and build me a bit of art. Why can you not build me art here? What was the issue? Oh, I probably... You can only build so many mega structures at once. Yeah, um, let me fix that issue here. Oh, the game's paused? No, 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 no. Don't be pausing the game on me. I don't need to see the game paused. Right. Out here. Ooh, it does not like you moving around the map. Well, the game isn't paused, but hey. That's fine. Scrolling back. Scrolling over. Zooming right in. Wait till it hovers so you can get in here. Build me art. No. Um. Build me a gateway. Eh, I do, still don't think I want a gateway here, actually. We have a sentry array already. Oh, I can build a habitat around any of these planets. Yeah, I suppose I could. I'm not going to, though. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Alright. We're on the 10th month. We're getting there. We have two more pop-ups. Okay. So. Flying through. I mean, nobody's even at war right now. We're just, we're just entirely uh, peacefully, s slowly moving along. How about you, Mr. Independent? You want to form a research agreement? Why not? It costs us 0.12 influence. I think we can spare it. Protectorate st uh, status? We're getting there. They would accept a migration treaty if they weren't a consciousness. Wait, them being a consciousness, does that not mean if I integrate them from protectorate, they just all disappear from existence? That's what happened last time, isn't it? I'm fairly certain that's what happened last time. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. Anyway, whatever. We'll, we'll work it out when we get there. 
Ooh, what do you want us to vote on? Something new? Or the same thing again? Repeal the Ta Tayanki Conservation Act, but it hasn't passed yet. Hmm. Yeah, like it hasn't passed yet. <laughs> Weird. So you're already like, I want to repeal it. Well, I guess you're just uh, getting ahead of the crowd, aren't you? Yep, keep deleting these. To our full on uh, money. At which point we're going to buy some minerals. Because that's a very expensive habit. There we go. Leave it there. Waiting. So. I, I was so excited for a second there. I thought, ooh, we're in the final month. I was going to start counting down. And then I thought, wait a second. Final month isn't November. I've been bamboozled. We're getting there though. Wait. Are we... Yeah, we're, we're actually going to finish that in the first year. We weren't even... We weren't cl that close at all. We're going to finish that in the first year next time. Yeah, that's fantastic. Feral behavior. Reports uh, from our colony uh, claims that there's been an increase in feral behavior. Apparently par part of the population has experienced uh, here, though, unprecedented levels of lust and aggression and no one knows why. Alright, well, hope they all have fun. Uh, carrying on. Establishing colony. Ooh, I love hearing it. It's much better than ships upgraded. All right, we're getting there. It's moving along. We've only got three more sets of three years, and then we will know what happens when we hit the year two thousand five hundred, which I believe is the max year you can set an end game event for. And I've learned my lesson. The year 2000 is a much better year for this. Yeah. Year 2000 would have been perfect. In fact, on a more aggressive game, you might even want it earlier. The year 2500? Bit much. Actually, sorry, it would be 2400, right? I don't know. Wait, when does, what's the start year? I don't know what the start year is. It's like 2,200 Colony or something? Founded. I don't know. Anyway. Hey, we founded a new colony. It's nice. Okay, well, I am going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.